welcome to this session today's topic of the discussion is the thermistors and thermocouple that is the temperature transducers and uh, two of the examples of the temperature transducer is the thermistors and thermocouples my name is ajit surenshi i am working as assistant professor in the walchand institute of the technology in the department of electronics and telecommunication so what is the outcome of this today's session so at the end of the session student will able to select the appropriate transistors to measure the physical parameters that is here is the in this case is the temperature so before proceeding into the session uh, what should the knowledge you should have uh, that is you should have a knowledge of the uh, material properties especially the electrical properties and you should also have a knowledge of the basic circuit analysis electrical circuit analysis that is so temperature transducer so what is meant by the temperature transducer temperature transducer is a uh, device or uh, which will converts uh, input temperature into the other physical quantities like pressure and others uh, pressure also and uh, and especially it is a electrical quantities so that's why it is called as a electrical transducer so this is a electrical transducers so converting the temperature into the equivalent electrical quantities and electrical transducers examples are the thermistors and thermo thermocouple so these two transducers sensors sense the temperature and converts into the equivalent electrical output so that's why the thermistor and thermocouples is a type of the electrical transducers thermistors so what is mean by the thermistor a thermistor name itself suggest a uh, near near the term which is derived from the therm and istors that means it is a thermal and resistors so so thermistor is a special type of the resistors which changes its uh, resistance with which is a proportional to the input body temperature so so again thermistor is of uh, two types ntc type and ptc type ntc is a negative temperature coefficient and ptc is the positive temperature coefficient so what is in by the negative temperature coefficient that will be seen in the next slide so ntc for examples is manufactured from the metal oxides and semiconductors so material used in the ntcs are the semiconductors and metal oxide while in the ptc a uh, material used is the conductor because conductor exhibit the ptc type of the characteristics that means the uh, conductor's resistance increases with the increasing temperatures so and in the ntc as the temperature increases resistance decreases that shows the negative properties now coming into the symbols of the thermistors symbol used for the thermistor is this is one uh, which is used for the used in the america and this is used in the international this is the international symbol for the thermistors now coming into the thermal uh, thermistor characteristics so this is the characteristics of the resistance versus the temperature so uh, for the ptc that is positive temperature coefficient so you can see that as the temperature rises a resistance rises that is increase in temperature increase in the resistance that is a ptc which shows the positive slope if you find out the slope this slope is a positive value so this positive value that that positive value comes to this name that is a ptc that is positive temperature coefficient and if the slope is a negative that means the resistance increase in the resistance uh, shows the decrease in the resistance that is the resistance is inversely proportional to the temperature in that case it it is a type of the ntc that is negative temperature coefficient type of the thermistors so here in this graph you can see there is a, a negative slope so in the both the graph that is for the ptc and ntc for ptc 
slope is positive and for the NTC slope is a negative. Also one more point you have to observe in this uh, graph is that <coughs> both the graphs are linear. Again one more interesting point you, you can note. If the slope is higher, uh, higher is the sensitive of uh, the thermistors. So once the slope is higher, you will get the higher sensitive thermistors. So it is also depend upon the slope. Next. So again, this two types of the characteristics that is PTC, this is the ideal one. So that shows the linear relation between the resistance and temperature. But that is not happening in the practice. In the practice, most of the cases, you see the uh, linear relationship. In the linear relationship, the uh, or exponential relationship. So in the exponential relationship, the resistance is the exponentially related to the temperature. You can see in this equation, RT is equal to R0, a beta 1 upon T minus 1 upon T0, where RT is the resistance of that thermistor at that particular temperature, and R0 is the resistance of the temperature at 0 degree Celsius. So, and this beta value is depend upon the watt material used in the thermistors. If it is NTC type of the thermistors, then the material used will be the semiconductors or metal oxides. Again, this is an example of NTC thermistors, negative temperature coefficient of the Now, can you measure the temperature by using NTC or PTC thermistors <coughs> for a wide range if the relation between these two are not linear? So this is a nonlinear relation. This, this is a, this is a linear relation. This is a nonlinear relation. So can you measure the temperature for a NTC and PTC types of the thermistor for a wide range temperature range if the relation between these two are nonlinear? That means this kind of the relation. Or nonlinear relation means uh, it exhibit the linear characteristics or it exhibit the exponential or any other type of the relation between these two uh, parameters. And after that temperature, it becomes a constant. So, if the answer is S, then write down the explanation. If the answer is no, write down the explanation. So, you may pause this video, think about it, write on the piece of the paper. Answer is S. Answer is S. You can use it for the wide temperature range, provided that it should not get a saturated. Now coming into the construction of the thermistors. So these are the different construction. So again, the material used in the thermistors are the metal oxides, uh, for example, a copper oxide, magnesium oxide. So these metals are used. And different form of the structures are formed by using this uh, uh, materials. It is a forming of the bead type of the structure. It is a forming also of the probe type of the structure. It is forming the disc and it is also forming the rod type of the structure by using this materials. Now coming to the applications, there are different applications for the NTC. It is used for the very low temperature applications. It is used in the digital thermometers, while the PTC is used as a or current protection circuits because current is which is, really, uh, which is related to the temperature. As temperature increases, that means a current also increases. Because the uh, rise in the temperature, rise in the current in the uh, current in the conductor that leads to the increase in the temperature in the conductor. So that can be sensed with the thermistors and it can be used for the ore current protection circuit. So this is about the thermistors. Now coming into the thermocouple, one of the temperature uh, transducer. Thermocouple is another type of the sensor which have, which can be used to measure the temperature at the particular specific point, and it will provide the electromotive force that is a voltage at the output. 
which is a proportional to the temperatures. So basically the thermocouple is, uh, thermocouple have a, a two types of the, two different types of the uh, conductors which are joined at one point which is called as a junction or that junction is also called as a hot junction. So this again this wire is, this these two wires are of different types. This may be the copper, this may be the iron. So provided that these two wires should be of different type or different materials. Now thermos, uh, thermocouple construction. Again, this is uh, these two are the different types of the wires, and this is a what it, it's called as a hot junction, uh, and these are the metal oxide, and this these are the protection circuits. So it is a made of the alloy of the alloy of the constantine and iron. So again, it is a made of the iron and the constantine. Now coming to the working of the uh, working of the thermocouple, it is based on the uh, based on the effect that is Seebeck effect. So one junction is cold and other junction is uh, one junction is cold and other junction is uh, hot. In that case, you you may expect the voltage at that end. So provided that these two metals should be of different materials, so that is called as a Seebeck effect. And this voltage will be the proportional to the proportional to the temperatures. So these are the application. There are different application in the chemical plant also to monitor the temperature of the chemical. It is used. It is also used in the cryogenic, that is low temperature application. These are the applications of the thermocouple. These are the references for the temperature transducers. Thank you.